This is my friend John. I've known John for approximately six years. Anyone that has had a chance to meet John knows that he is a very loving, kind, bigger than life personality person that would do anything for you. A person who loves to spend time with his f friends and family and most of all play, and s play guitar and sing. I can guarantee if you've only met John once or twice, if he wasn't smiling while talking to you, then he was making you smile. It's just the kind of man he is. One of my favorite stories about John is uh, when he was living with uh, Matt Jensen, one of our friends. He was in the bathroom with Kathy. Kathy was helping him shave his back. And um, he called me in there, no idea why. And I strolled in there like, okay. Um, and it turns out he had nothing below the <laughs> waist while he was getting shaved. I mean, that's Jonathan, you know, he, he always tries to make people laugh because He just has a, a this energy about him. And again, I've said this before, he, he, he would do anything for anybody, anybody. And he's so lucky to have the group of friends that he has because since I've met him six years ago, his friends became my friends and we're like a family. June 3rd. Many of us gathered at John's home to celebrate his 40th birthday. This party set off a week of celebration for John as he took time off work to go camping. This would also be the last time many of us would get to see him. One week later, John was finishing his camping vacation when a freak accident happened. He was thrown from a pickup truck and suffered severe brain trauma. He has great physicians surrounding him and his family is doing what they can to be by his side as they travel from Cincinnati and beyond. We're all praying and remaining positive for John while he fights for his life. As his friends and family, there's not much we can do as individuals, but together, maybe a way we can all help John, even you. The medical bills for John are going to be tremendous. There are also costs of providing housing and meals for his family while they stand vigil by his side. At the very most, you can help by donating whatever you can to ease the burden of these costs. But for those who cannot afford to donate, we only ask that you keep John in your thoughts and pass this message on. Email it, post it, tweet it, share it in whatever way you can, and you'll be doing the greatest service of all. Spread the word. Send your good thoughts, send your good vibes, pray for him, because I do believe in the power of prayer that when a lot of people get together and pray, um, good things can happen. I truly believe that, so whatever your beliefs are, Please send him his way. He's a strong guy. And this is a, a, a guy that never misses a day of work, and that's what amazes me about him. He has the most amazing work ethic. So, so please help him in whatever way you can. Thank you.